Hi there, it's Coach Yvonne here, and welcome to another segment of Ask Coach Yvonne. Before I get into today's question, I want to share a, a, an article I ran across on the internet yesterday, and it's titled, uh, How to Marry a Great Guy in L.A. The, the, the title caught my eye because, I mean, that's like an ongoing conversation amongst the many single women that I've met, myself included, since I've been living in L.A. And the article simply says, it's not like rocket science or anything, They're not, it's not anything, you know, out of the ordinary. How to marry a great guy in LA, what do you need to do? Get involved in an activity that you enjoy doing, such as hiking, running, yoga, biking, tennis, skiing, surfing, salsa dancing, etc. Um, and the point is of doing this is that you are not waiting around for him to find you and you are actively engaging in life and you are doing something that you love. You are going out and doing something that interests you. And um, when you do this, you expose yourself to people that have things in common with you, men that have things in common with you. And what men love about this is when they see a woman that's, you know, working out or whatever it is she's doing, you know, it lets them know that they're, they're in the company of a woman that's enjoying her life, that's not afraid to do, th do things on her own, and that speaks to her level of confidence and self-esteem. And... It says to them this woman is physically active and so you know if I wanted her to go on a bike ride with me it would be easy she just hop on a bike and we can go and that's something that we can enjoy together so I've been saying it for many years and this writer confirms it get out there and do something you love and I mean there's no guarantee but at least you're not sitting around waiting for something to happen you're actively engaging in the process and if that doesn't work for you I found uh, another internet dating site yesterday, and it's called um, Set for Marriage. And it basically tells you, the title tells you who it's set up for. Now this website was started by a gentleman named Brad Boyd, he's 31, um, he lives in Houston, Texas, and he started it, um, the article that I found about it says there's a new dating site out there rivaling eHarmony. And he started it because his friend was on eHarmony for about a year and they were matching him with people that had things in common with him um, but th the people weren't necessarily ready for marriage and things didn't necessarily work out so he came up with the idea that if I s put up a site that's specifically geared towards people that are looking for a husband and wife my friend would be successful and that's how set for marriage came about and so when you go to the site you know a page pops up and it says I am a man looking for a wife I am a woman looking for a husband and so that's appealing you know if you are one of you know if you're looking for marriage now is everybody on the site you know being honest and saying they're looking for marriage I don't know um, but his intention is to have a site where people that are looking to be married can feel and know that that is the intention of the site and everything that happens on there is for that purpose I scrolled through the site yesterday just to kind of see what was on there and and you know my only um, you know complaint was that I didn't see a lot of photos I got through about 20 pages the site has about 2,000 members it started last year and I went through I scrolled through about 20 pages of the site and there were all question marks where a photo should have been and one of the key rules of internet dating is post a photo I don't understand how you're set for marriage and you don't want me to see how you look like it doesn't make sense so if you're out there on the internet post a photo post one that looks like you today not how you want to look five years from now or how you looked five years ago post a current photo show yourself in your best light if you're going to post a glamour shot that's fine but also post one of how you look you know on a day-to-day -day basis unless of course you walk around like a glamour goddess every day then go for it but post a photo okay and now let's get into today's question. I got it right here on my computer. And it says, um, okay, I've been with my boyfriend for three years and we moved in together a year ago with the intention of getting married and we're still not married. And I'm starting to wonder if we're ever going to get married, how do I bring this up without making him feel pressured? Okay, um, let me say this before I actually answer how you bring it up without being pressured. I'm gonna say to you and other women out there, I don't um, believe in living together. I mean, if all you want to do is live together, then live together. If you are a woman that wants to be married, living together is the equivalent of shooting yourself in the foot. I know people that have done it. I'm not saying that people don't live together and get married.
But what I'm saying is if you're serious about getting married and you want to be married sooner than later, the last thing you want to do is live with a man because you're giving him all of the benefits of marriage. You're acting as if you're a married couple. He's comfortable. He's thinking, why rock the boat? He's thinking, marriage is till death do me part. I'm ready to die yet. You know, and all these other things that men think about that push them further away from marriage. Um, how do you bring it up without making him feel pressured? You really don't. Um, you bring it up, but whether he feels pressured or not, that shouldn't be your concern. What you're not gonna do is give him an ultimatum and say, well, marry me or else. You know, but I think you have a conversation just sort of like the way you asked your question. You know, we've, we've been together for three years. We moved in with the intention of being married. We're not married yet. I'm just trying to kind of see, you know, where this is going. Are we headed to the altar? Like, what are we doing? I think you already know, because you live with the guy. You live with the guy, you're interacting with him day to day. You know what's going on. I think that's a part of the reason why you're asking the question. So just ask it. It's your life. You have a right to ask. You know, just like he's given himself a right to everything that you've, all the benefits that you've been extending to him. Ask the question. Ask it the nicest way that you can without, you know, backing him up into a corner. And um, if you don't get the answer you want and you feel in your heart that this is going to carry on for another year or two, another three years, and you're not willing to do it, move out. That's all move out get you know get your own place and i don't know maybe he'll come around but don't do this again okay um that's all i've got for you today it's um 5 41 a.m and i'm off to the gym um whatever you do make sure you make today a great day thanks for watching